hello libra i missed you guys i hope you're doing wonderful it's saturday almost noon where i am libra i hope you're gonna have a beautiful relaxing weekend and have some leisure time for yourself of course um libra you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate first we're gonna ask what's coming towards you libra what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Libra. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages. For the sign of Libra, for Libra's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Libra in their life? And how is Libra currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming towards Libra in their life? And how is Libra currently doing on their soulmate journey? Oh, this one is popping out. But guess what? There's another one, strong one, that wants to hide from me, but it can't. So you have two extra messages, very important. Wow, Libra. Wow, there's somebody you love deeply, but you are hiding this from them. You're not telling them. So if you show them or told them you love them, you haven't fully expressed to them how much they mean to you emotionally. You love this person immensely, very connected with them emotionally and spiritually. And you're trying to kind of feel out or figure out on your own uh, what it is they feel for you at this particular time, whether it's matching the feelings that you have for them. You see, you are hiding from them that you love them a lot. You feel that this person is the one for you. They're, they're, uh, you this person is your ultimate soulmate. That's how you feel uh, about this connection because of the feelings, uh, how intense those feelings are. Ten of Cups the highest level of emotional fulfillment, joy, happiness. You feel this person is the one for you, but uh, you're not telling them. This is you holding back for some reason. Yeah, oh, what happened? You are single in this connection. You're not in a relationship with this person. Um, hmm. you, you are not with the person. You are alone. You're not in a relationship with them. You want to see them. Yeah, you want a reunion with this person. Look at all these emotions you feel for this person. Ten of Cups, King of Cups, Three of Cups. But when you add these, one, two, three, four, five, it becomes Five of Cups. You don't have hope. You feel mm, like this is not going to happen. For some reason, something makes you feel that uh, this is not something that's going to happen between you two even though you want it so badly you love this person a lot but you losing hope like this connection or this relationship is not gonna go any further well you're single right now you're not with this person so right now it's not really a relationship it's a strong connection spiritually and emotionally Okay, yeah, you want to reconcile with them. You want to find a way to reconcile with this person to be back in their life. Yeah, see, you're not interested in anybody else. You're checking up on this person. You're curious. You're keeping tabs on them. Curious what's going on in their life. You want to reconcile with them. You really do. You want to put work into this. Let's see. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Libra in their life and how is Libra currently doing on their soulmate journey. Wow. There's something stopping you from being with this person. So I don't know if you are stuck in some toxic uh, connection or predicament. Like something is stopping you. Or maybe they are stuck in some kind of toxic connection or predicament, uh, whatever it is, whether it's on your side or their side, uh, you right now, the two of you cannot be together because of circumstances, some kind of toxicity, circumstances. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, you see, you're hiding from this person how you feel about them. You're hiding those feelings. You're hiding it. You don't want to show right now how deeply you love them. Yeah, you see, so this person hasn't been putting work into this. Like, they not... You guys are not reciprocating in this connection. You see, you miss them. You miss this person a lot. You feel alone, sad. Yeah, you see? You're hiding how you truly feel. You feel a great need to talk to them, but you're holding back. But really, you want to see them face to face. Hmm. Something is going on that is preventing the two of you of being together. So it's not like they don't want to be with you or you don't want to be with them. There's something outside of this connection that is preventing the two of you of being together, you see? This person feels a lot of guilt, regret. Something is going on. Yeah, you see? Look at this betrayal showing up here. But this shows me clearly that this person is not aware how deeply you love them because... You're holding back, at least at this time. So if you told them before, uh, you're not telling them anymore. You see, this is you hiding it. And it looks like they're hiding it also. They are in some kind of situation that is uh, preventing them. You see, look at this. That is preventing. This is betrayal. This is deception, lies, shady behavior, uh, deceit. Uh, something is going on that is preventing them from being with you or preventing you from being with them. You really want to extend the olive branch. You want to see this person. Yeah, you see, you guys couldn't be together because there was something toxic. Something is in the way that's preventing the two of you to uh, come towards each other and have a relationship that's healthy. Something going on. Yeah, you see. Uh, where you can't be with this person. There could be any sign whatsoever, but a lot of you are dealing with Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see. Hmm. I'm sorry, you're going through so much. Let me see. You're not, yeah, you, you're not telling, you're hiding from this person how much you love them at this time, but you want to reconcile with them. It was to show us what's coming towards Libra and how is Libra currently doing on the soulmate journey. Wow. You feel this is the person for you. You don't want anybody else. That's why you want to reconcile with them. You see, apologies will need to be spoken. So something serious is happening. That's preventing the two. Yeah, you see, betrayal again showing up here. So there is something that's hidden from you as well. So you're hiding from them how much you love them or still love them, and they're hiding something else. Hmm. There's something beyond your control and their control that is stopping the two of you from being together. Yeah, you see, you've been waiting very patiently for this situation to improve, to see clearly what's going to happen, to see if they're going to reach out to you. Let me see one more. Yeah, this is stressful for you. Very stressful. Yeah, uh, like a big burden on your shoulders emotionally. Let's see what's going on with this person of yours. You know, please show us the soulmate of Libra. The soulmate of Libra. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Libra? And how is the soulmate of Libra towards Libra at this time? This one wants to come out very strongly. That's extra message. This person wants to take action towards you. They have strong attraction towards you. Uh, they want to take action towards you, but they're stopping themselves. They're very guarded emotionally. They know they're going to have to do something. You see, they are at a crossroads, but they want to make wise decision that is fair to the both of you. They don't want to do something selfishly, just thinking of themselves, what's best for them. They want to consider you in this situation and be fair to you as well when they make that final decision, whether to completely let you go or come towards you. You see, uh, they feel a strong need 
for communication to clear the air between the two of you after being silent. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, look at this. You see? This person is silent. This person is in some kind of predicament that is preventing them from coming forward and being with you, communicating with you. Uh, they could be in a karmic connection with somebody else. If they are, if they are in a karmic connection with somebody else, karmic relationship, they're not happy. You see, they very closed off emotionally. They're not happy. No, they feel dead in that connection. So some kind of karmic uh, situation they're in, they caught up in, that they can't get out of at this time at least. Very unhappy in that situation though. Yeah, you see, they feel they need to be strong and just do whatever they need to do. So it's some kind of uh, awkward situation they in that is beyond their control. So that means it's karmic. They have to go through it. They have some kind of soul contracts with person or people in that situation that they need to learn things from before they can free themselves of that karma. You see, that's why we are here. We're here to balance karma, to learn lessons, right? Um, yeah, so uh, a lot of you are dealing with Leo and Virgo and Taurus. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Libra and how's the soulmate of Libra towards Libra at this time. I feel like I need to shuffle more. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Libra and how's the soulmate of Libra towards Libra at this time. Look how scared they are. This person wants to come towards you with something solid, like solid conversation. Uh, but look how scared they are. You see, this is them fearful, scared, uh, not able to figure out how to approach this at this time. They know they're going to have to do something. They can't just sit there waiting for things to happen on its own. A lot of you are dealing with Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. You see? Whatever they caught in, they're very unhappy. Yeah, they feel emotionally unfulfilled, empty inside. They feel a void inside their heart. Very unhappy in that situation that is preventing them from being with you or coming towards you at this particular time. Very attracted to you, in love with you, attracted to you. A lot of you are dealing with Cancerian and Leo. Chariot. Wow. This person is going through a lot of emotional roller coasters. This shows clearly that ultimately this person will make the right decision when the time is right. They're going to persevere. They will be victorious at seeing things clearly, be able to figure out how to leave the toxic situation or relationship they caught in. Yeah what to do, what not to do. They'll be victorious. This is victory after great emotional struggle, after major distress. Yeah, you see? they balancing heavy-duty karma with somebody or some kind of situation that they're in. They, they're learning very important lessons. So this person has soul contracts that they need to fulfill. It's like buying a car. You buy a car and you get a loan from a bank. You have to fulfill that loan. You have to pay every month. If you don't, uh, you're going to lose your car, you see, and you're going to have to start over. So this person has to fulfill their karmic debts that they agreed to before they incarnated with certain situational people, you see, before they can free themselves of that karma. Look how scared they are. But this also shows me very clearly that whether it's a karmic relationship, marriage, arranged marriage, or a relationship that they're miserable in, they feel like they're stuck in it in the meantime. You see, they feel like a prisoner in there. You see, they feel so unhappy, emotionally unfulfilled. They feel big void in their heart. But it's karmic, so they have to resolve that karma. And when the time is right, they will be able to free themselves, you see. 
when they balance those justice scales, you see the, the world is completion. The world card, the last card, in some cases, the world card is replaced with the universe card, but really it's the world card means completion. Uh, like they're going to balance that karma in this toxic situation that they're in that's so stressful for them, but they're learning major lessons about themselves and relationships, connections, soul contracts. And once they complete those lessons, they don't have to learn them again. You see, we're all here to learn. That's why we're here. That's why life is so challenging. If life was not challenging, we wouldn't learn anything. If I were to watch comedies every day, I would learn absolutely nothing. And of course, if I could watch comedies every day and not work, I would love it. But ultimately, I would be hurting myself, right? So yeah, life is challenging for a reason. Look at this. You see, they have karma. They're balancing justice. See, they're balancing karma. This also means I don't like this combination. I, no, I don't like this combination. Uh, King of Swords with Justice and Eight of Swords. This often speaks of problems with judicial system, uh, arranged marriages. Uh, usually arranged marriage means emotional uh, unfulfillment, misery, unhappiness. Yeah, this also means, this could also mean problems with the law, with uh, judicial system or cases with judicial system, lawyers, judges, uh, law enforcement. Yeah. So whatever they caught in, they're going to have to balance that karma. Yeah. They help because if they try to escape it, it's going to catch up with them. So we, we have karma to balance for a reason to learn certain important lessons. Uh, we cannot escape it. Karma has to be balanced by each individual soul. Yeah. That's why we keep coming here over and over and over again. Because a lot of times you can't learn one lesson in just one lifetime. Like forgiveness. The toughest lesson to learn for anybody is forgiveness. We can only learn forgiveness through very challenging situations emotionally and heartbreaks. You see? So, yeah, this person is... Uh, learning some very important lessons that are important to them. Yeah, so let's do this. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Libra? You see how strong they are. This person is very strong, resilient. Yeah, you see. And he, here you have the Libra sign standing for justice. So this person wants to do right by you. They don't want to do you wrong in any way they don't want to be selfish and make a decision final decision based on what they want they want to consider your well-being in this situation as well yeah this person loves you they care for you genuinely but they caught up in some karmic situation that they cannot leave at this time yeah i see they're gonna complete that karma i'm proud of them they will complete that karma they will complete it this is successful completion of karmic debts you see balancing karmic scales yes they will do it yeah you see again what's going on some kind of judicial proceedings showing up here judges lawyers i don't know what's going on here <clears throat> this person wants to see you when the time is right they want to see you they want to reunite with you oh my gosh what a heavy reading i'm drained <laughs> This is heavy energy I was just feeling. Libra, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about this person's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you. What they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Libra, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.